OSHA just announced major fines against two local roofing companies for serious safety violations. Video from one incident shows a 14-year-old boy falling from a roof 20 feet in the air. Five on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh has the story, and we want to warn you what you're about to see may be difficult to watch. This is doorbell video across the street from a roofing job on Pebble Court in Berea on December 17th of last year. Notice the roofers from Double M Roofing and Construction on top of a condo in the upper left corner of your screen. All of a sudden, a 14-year-old boy slips and falls 20 feet to the driveway below. Workers called 911. A uh, guy on a roofing crew just fell off of a roof. Uh, he's, he's unconscious. He's unresponsive in the driveway. With EMS on the way, the caller describes the injuries. There is blood on the ground next to his mouth, not very much, just a small little bit. He is wheezing. Um, his breathing is very labored, non-responsive. In the background, you can hear the teen trying to breathe. <laughs> And he's still not responding at all or anything? Not responding at all. Roofing work is also the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous construction jobs in the country. Howie Eberts is the area director of the Cleveland OSHA office. He says teens are not supposed to be on roofing jobs at all. It was horrible, especially right before Christmas. Uh, I felt so bad and my thoughts and prayers go out. Um, to this 14-year-old and their family. Howie says the boy had significant head trauma and brain injuries. Then Howie says police and EMS noticed workers trying to cover up the fact that they all were not wearing safety devices. They were putting on their fall protection after the fact. So that was disturbing to us as well. And if that wasn't enough, two weeks later, OSHA says it did another inspection of double M roofing and workers were still not wearing fall protection gear. Even though the company was aware of the fall and the requirement for fall protection and had all the fall protection equipment, uh, they refused to use it. OSHA has fined double M roofing and construction based out of West Farmington nearly $75,000 for these incidents. We have reached out to the company and its owner, Melvin Schmucker, but we have not heard back yet. The company has three weeks to respond to the fines and make any disputes. I'm Five on Your Side Investigator, Jonathan Walsh.